it's a great night. I thought the uh, team played well, persevered even to, into overtime, so I'm really proud of the efforts tonight. The girls, they really fought for that. You know, it was it was up and down here and there, basket for basket, but at the end of the day, hit some big shots, made some big stops, so I'm proud of their efforts this weekend. Um, because you said you had nothing to do with it. Actually, you did. It was almost like you were on the court, the anticipation, calling the timeout with 21 seconds to go <laughs> when you saw it was about to be a tie up and they have possession. <laughs> Just talk about like what you saw and what you said in, during that time. Well, at that moment, I knew I knew we could we could win this game depending on what um, St. Martin's was going to do. So I really wanted to make sure we gain full possession. And when it gets loose like that and people aren't sure, we just need to gather composure, make sure everyone on the court knew what we were in. So based on what they were going to play, what they were going to run um, defensively, if they were going to foul right away or not, we I, we had two setups ready to go. And they chose the not foul route, which was great because it, it got the clock down, which is exactly what we wanted. And then. Um, at the end, tipping the ball just saved our bacon, and I'm really proud of everybody's efforts. Uh, one thing I noticed about this game was the ball movement, second, especially in the second half. Um, you guys have found the open man. Just talk about how, like you said last game, how the chemistry is really coming together. Well, I think sometimes I have to remind them how open their teammates are, you know, because they do, they do, they're ask, doing what I ask as far as looking inside or, or running a set play, but. Um, but for the most part, St. Martin's was playing, allowing a reversal. And so once we finally figured it out, um, we were able to penetrate for a kick out or just a reversal with one more pass. It just it just opened it up a lot. Um, Kelly, just uh, talk about your game. You're like uh, one of the defensive stoppers on this team, which lead the team in points. Kind of shows the versatility of your game, but um, also shows how everyone stepped up. Just speak about how everyone you know, kind of just contributed to this one today. Um, well, I mean, we're a team. Of course, we all contribute. Um, we're all talking on defense, um, and the talking on defense is what allowed um, for me to read the steals. Because, and then coach having us go over the day before and shoot around um, their plays, so we kind of are familiar with their movements. Um, but definitely, I feel like our team has been connecting better, and um, we just talking. We just have more confidence in each other, and I think that's what's getting this done. Um, Jack, uh, you, you stepped up as well, you know, with 14 points. Um, just talk about how this team kind of like, you know, battled back when you guys had a lead and went to overtime, then they hit a three, it's down two. What was kind of going through your mind uh, in those last couple minutes of the game? Uh, it felt kind of new. I can't remember the last time we had a game in overtime, high school, I think. But that's exciting um, to go through it with this group of girls. That's that's as much as you can ask for. This is what it's all about. So. Um, and also, uh, Jack, just talk about how you know you got three games, three games won, and it seems like you guys are just finding different ways to win. You well, uh, you know, handled handled one last time. They had a close one. Um, how's this team kind of kind of coming together and just getting through adversity? I mean, we've seen it all. We've been through all adversity, so. We're just finding ways to do whatever we can. We're having confidence in our freshmen and shooters like Marissa, um, defensive players like Kelly, our little point guard Penisa. So um, I think confidence in each other and in ourselves is our is our bread and butter right now. Uh, Coach, lastly, um, it's almost a, a similar uh, situation with Jack said. I mean, you've seen the team now with three wins in a row. Um, can you kind of put your finger on what's like been the difference? I know people you were talking about team chemistry in the last game. The defense was here as well, but tonight you guys just made, made plays when you need to make plays. Well, I I just put it to the fact that it was very easy. It could have been very easy for us to just roll over at the end of the season and say, oh, we haven't won any games. But um, that's not a program that we're going to be about. And these. These kids, the leaders in the team, they believe that as well. They're going to be a team that fights to the end. So if we're going to go down, we're going to go down with a fight. And um, I think opponents haven't been ready for that near as much. So we've been over preparing for teams with film and, and plays and practices. And so it's really it's boosted their confidence. 